Hello everybody and welcome to episode 45. Today we are going to be doing death cubes and reverse input cubes. Uh, the death cube should be pretty straightforward, I think. But um, I'm a little bit worried about this reverse spin cube. It might not be terrible. So let's see, we'll do the death cube first. And let's move our slippery cube. Let's actually make it a prefab, right? Slippery cube. Oh, not in test vert sets, special cubes. There we go. <clears throat> so I'll drag in a normal cube. We'll rename you to death cube. And we'll attach the script. So, the death cube, um, I mean, I believe there is going to be some way to turn off the deathiness of the cube. So, we'll make a separate function for our delegate private void. Kill whittling Let's see, how did I do that with my slippery? Whittling dot on death. Oh, that's all I have to do. Do 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 do. do. Hmm. Okay, so we need to. This isn't going to work. So we need to do this here in start. And so when this gets called, when the whittling enters the cube, could I just have a whittling die? That seems fair. Enter the death cube. <clears throat> and our death cube. Do I have a tint? OK. 
cube face tint. Um, how about this like dark, dangerous red? Change on start. Face container. Boop. Willing clone entered death cube. Oh. Uh oh. Death die. There we go. Does it say dead end here? Okay, that's not quite what we want. Um, because there are many ways to die now. Boom. Five minutes, right? <laughs> like I said, nothing too, nothing too crazy with the death cube. Um, let's drop that in here. And let's see. <laughs> so next we have our reverse cube. Hmm, so cube rotator. Begin rotate, rotate by. What about a cube controller? So let's check out where we do the test swipe. Kind of tempted to just put the logic in here. <clears throat> I mean, is there are there other ways that, that we might want to change how the user input is modified based on different inputs? I don't think so. Other cube types are designed that... Consider a more elegant solution. Average delta. Reverse. And I do believe we could just say, oh, negative average delta, right? Oh. Um. Can I have a something for the cube? Cube selector, cube controller.
This is a mouse controller, actually. So this is actually going to be if cube controller dot and So now we just need our reverse spin component. And this might ac not actually need any code at all. Oh, this should go in special cubes. Oh my goodness. What have I done? Cube selector. That goes in cube. And then reverse spin goes in special cubes. There we go. Cool. Well, <laughs> oh, geez, that's hard to think about. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, though. Okay. Hmm. Well, dang. 12 minutes. I've already accomplished my goals for today. <clears throat> Fine. Limited select. Hmm, mouse controller, handle tap. Cube selector dot select. So This is a selectable, which worries me a little bit because I might want Whitlings to be selectable too. Maybe not. I don't know about that one. Um, let's change the color <laughs> of the reverse. I'm, I'm a little bit worried here about what to do. Um, hot pink. And let's turn these on too so I can see all of my colors. OK, 
get our reverse spin cube. Hmm, that's a little bit weird. So I want to twist it. Interesting, that is correct, because it didn't know which way to go. <laughs> okay. The problem of selecting. Oh, here's an unselected. <laughs> That's a little bit bizarre. Can rotate. So I guess that <clears throat> we'll do an on select, and then if that thing runs out, then we'll tell our rotate cube rotator that they can't um, rotate anymore. So that means our reverse spin cube is good. Limited select. Um, let's make sure that all of these are applied and that they exist in here. We've got our death cube, our slippery cubes in here as well. Spirit links hanging out. <clears throat> Pressure plate lock cube. Cool. Cube limited spin. Oh, this is actually called limited spin cube. It's a better name. Uh, 
Here's our limited select. Time for a color. Of course, in the real game, there's not going to be represented by colors. There's going to be some sort of art. There's a lot of cube types, actually, already. Um, hmm. We got like a dark forest green. Okay, so limited select. On start, we're going to get component selectable. On selected, and I think we can do an inline function here. Three selections remaining, and we'll say subtract from that. If it's equal to zero, oh. I don't know how much I like this. Cube rotator set can rotate false. This might need to be a separate function so we can remove it later. Well, let's just give that a shot. Hmm. Oh no, not pale moon. Sorry, buddy. Hey. I don't know if that on select is being executed anymore. Oh, hey. But then why? Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um where is our pressure plate lock? I'm going to copy this lock tint and then put it on my limited select cube. And we want it to go to the correct face container. And in here, oh boy. Um, Ah, we should also have a serialized field because this already exists. You know what? I probably shouldn't do it in here. I should do this on deselected, right? Because the user should be able to keep rolling it until they select something else. So I know this is running. That's fine.
then we'll need to link up our lock tint. And let's apply this bad boy here. Oop. Um, where are you? So selections remaining. Two. I can spin it as many times as I want. Ooh. So that actually selected it multiple times. That's not what I want to happen. Select once, two remaining. Okay, mouse down and mouse up on it count as a selection. Let's disable that. Do to do to do, do, mouse controller. Cube selector select possible selection. If button up and the thing we selected on, we clicked on first, we also released the mouse on. Currently selected doesn't equal null, deselect. It's weird to have those three separated out like that, but we need to do it in the right order. Yeah. Cool. So I actually have to go off, go on, <coughs> off, on, spin it around a bunch of times, and then I click off, dead. Cool. And I can still select it now, I just can't spin it. Nice. Good grief. We're on fire today. We've already got a pressure plate lock. Um, gravity boots. Hmm. Maybe not Gravity Boots, that's not a good name for it, but that's okay. Bridges were getting kind of crazy. Um, but how many cube types do we have now? Basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven special cubes and also <clears throat> five variable speed cubes. Hmm. These are power-ups. I haven't really done power-ups yet. Um, I'm going to leave that 
off for now. Bridges makes me worried. <laughs> um, definitely worried. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could try doing bridges. Let's see how it goes. How is it even going to work, though? That's the problem. Because if I have this here, how would I, how would the user tell the Whitling to build a bridge right here to go, to go one unit across? Now, maybe over here, this is a better option for a bridge. That seems right. So if the Whitling is going to die and he has a bridge and there is no cube in that direction or above it, ooh. thinking of a, a level where the <clears throat> spirit link cubes start infecting each other so eventually you're like turning the whole level at once that might be kind of slow I don't know how I feel about that I mean, instead of a Whitling placing a bridge, I could just attach a bridge myself. Let's try that. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, this could break a lot of stuff. But let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Um, prefab, cube, cube, cube. Got our bridge cube, and our up is going to be a straight path. And then let's create another cube. Its y will be zero point. One. Mm -mm. 
its z will be 0 0.34, I believe. Point five is going to be right in the middle, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> Could I just have it scale of zero? Oh boy, this is going to break all kinds of stuff. I mean, that looks pretty cool, though. So let's see, I've got my face container, and each face has this, which has meshes art. And that's a no path face. Path node container. So let's say that this is a bridge. meshes And then this is going to have the mesh filter, kube, mesh render, materials, cube core. And then this would 0 0.01, 0 0.34. <clears throat> Ooh, that would be really cool if it was like a, you know what I mean, like a curved bridge. That would be pretty neat. Create empty path node container. Is that it? That would be crazy if that worked. I doubt it will work, but let's try. Hope. Hey. Okay. Yeah, end leaf node. Two hundred thirty. Get owning face. This doesn't have an owning face. Oh Jesus. <clears throat> uh. 
How do we do this? Is this like searching by name? Set owning face. Path node container. Oh boy. So this is not a face at all. Therein lies a large problem. But dang, it looks so cool. You know what I could do? I could secretly spirit link this cube with an invisible cube. Oh, hey. oh, it's probably not highlighting because of some error that I have. Oh no, that's bad too. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many things wrong with this idea. Oh my god. Okay, <clears throat> so, oh, jeez. I believe that I'm going to have to have a separate cube if I want to hack this together. This is just a cube again. Okay. So... No box collider, no mesh renderer, all of my faces will be none. That's not quite what I wanted. Uh, 
I mean, I could just turn all of these off, couldn't I? Okay. That means I'm going to need bridge art. Path faces. So this is going to be a straight path bridge. Cube, we'll give it the cube core material. 0 0.01, 0 0.34. So this will be up 0 0.5 and out 1. Well, no, just just like that. <clears throat> hmm. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. We could have our straight path. Let's put it at the origin. Path type. Hmm. Where did that come from? Path type. Uh huh. Straight bridge. Is this even used? Let's make sure that this is used first, right? It's not. These are all unset. Okay. So, straight path bridge. It is pointing to its own container. That's correct. It's got two path nodes, start and end, that point to each other. That's good. Um, bridge cube. Given key was not present in the dictionary. Cube face spawner editor. Okay.
object you want to instantiate is null. 166. Current face, path, selected path type. <clears throat> Man, it's been so long since I even did this. Um, only nine or eight minutes left. I don't think we'll be able to finish today, but let's see how far we can go. So that's fine. Path type none. Straight bridge. Resources, path faces, straight path bridge. Straight bridge. Straight bridge is null. Okay. On enable. I'm going to have to do something really goofy like Whoa. Hmm. Um, let's try closing and reopening. I don't know how I can get this to run specifically. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay. Cool. So this should work. <laughs> oh, my God. Might be because all of these are off. Unset. Yeah, that's what I want. Oops. Oops. Hey, there we go. Maybe some errors? Sure. What? Oh, geez.
So it looks like it just spawned. Oh no, it spawned bridges too. <clears throat> well, this has been an interesting exercise. Um, I don't think... I don't think that this solution is quite at all good. But why is cube face tint? On my... What the heck? Oh, that's invisible. Bridge. Right. So it randomly spawned a bridge on each of these cubes. And then it freaked out. That makes sense. The bridge looks super cool, though. Having it connected like that, I think, is it adds an extra dimension. <laughs> there we go. Find a better way to solve this problem. And I think that's all we need to do to fix it. Straight path bridge, how did you do that? Ah, right, right, right. I'm gonna need to close Unity and reopen it. But um, that should be, we did get a lot done today. The bridges are, I knew they were gonna be bad, but I didn't know that it was gonna be so awful. Okay. Well, um, that's it for today. We'll fix this mess tomorrow. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And have a good day.